Voters in two central Texas cities are getting ready to vote on ordinances to eliminate low-level marijuana enforcement. And we're getting a better idea of what could happen next if voters in Elgin and San Marcos approve those measures. Several police agencies in Williamson County implemented site and release programs a few years ago. And KXAN's Mercedes Hernandez looks at how it's going and what's changed since it started. Afternoon shopping in the Georgetown Square these days could mean picking up something green. Brandy Townsend owns Cozy Cannabis, which sells CBD and Delta 8. It looks and gives similar effects as marijuana, but is legal. Most of our customers are 35 years old and up. Um, we have 70 year old couples come in here. She says a few years ago, a shop like this wouldn't exist. It's really sad that there are people that are getting incarcerated for a product that is very similar to what we're able to sell in our stores. Back in 2017, Corby Holcomb with the Williamson County Attorney's Office says state law changed, giving officers the option to write citations for things like having small amounts of pot. This to keep officers on the street and jails from becoming overcrowded. The officer has to handcuff them, put them in the back of the car, drive them to the jail, book them into the jail and then get out, write the report. Sometimes that can take hours. He says only a few Williamson County Police Departments choose to cite and release. But in the last six years, the county's only done that around 230 times. Um, so it's, it's just another tool for the officers to use, and it's really up to their discretion. He says the jail population has gone down since site and release started, but that can't be attributed just to minor offenders getting such citations. With COVID, it's been so weird in the last couple of years. Kind of threw all the numbers off. Changes, though small, are happening in Williamson County. Holcomb and Townsend both say they're waiting to see what's next. In Georgetown, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. Williamson County told us today there were 732 possession of marijuana cases back in 2019. Now in 2020 and 2021, after a law change that required the testing of marijuana, there was one case each year. And so far this year, there have been three cases.